uh, I rise uh, today to uh, express my great concern that in a mere nine days, the United States government is going to give up control of the Internet. And this is one of those issues that I don't think many Americans know about. This is not on the front page above the fold of your paper. It's not splashed across your nightly news. You're not seeing it everywhere on the Internet. So Americans aren't really aware of it nine days before this transfer is about to take place. Now, uh, as the speaker knows, <clears throat> there's many things in this uh, House both parties don't always agree on. That might be an understatement. You know, the president just uh, transferred $1.7 billion to Iran. 400 of it, 400 million arguably was Iranian money, but 1.3 billion was American money, U.S. taxpayer money. Transferred to Iran, the lead sponsor of Tehran Cash. I disagree with that, and some of my colleagues on the other side might applaud that and think that's a great idea. I would disagree. Or the fact that we're releasing our prisoners from Guantanamo Bay. Uh, folks who helped craft the 9-11 attack are being released from Gitmo back to areas where they can do America more harm. I disagree with that. My friends across the aisle might then therefore agree with those releases. Those are some big items that this chamber does not agree on. But the transfer of control of the core functions of the Internet is something that many members of this chamber and many Americans agree with. And it's going to be transferred those core functions to an a international or foreign body that will include Russia and China and Iran and even Europe transferring uh, that uh, control. And let's make no mistake, the Internet was made in America. The Internet was paid for by American taxpayers at its point uh, of invention. And the Internet has revolutionized the world, revolutionized the form in which we communicate. And not is it just great technology, but it embodies the American idea of freedom of speech. It's all open. Put out your ideas. Some are good, some are bad, some are true, some are false, but it's free. Just like that American idea of free speech. And we have exported that freedom of speech idea to the rest of the world on the Internet. Radically transformed the way people around the world communicate. And it was made in America with the American idea of free speech. And now, nine days from now, we're at the cusp of transferring its control to a foreign body that doesn't share that same idea of freedom of speech. So we all know listen, R Russia doesn't share that idea. China doesn't share that idea. Iran doesn't share that idea. But you might say, my friends, Europe, they share that idea, don't they? Not necessarily. They don't. Because they have rules in the European Union that will delineate hate speech and offensive speech that has to be taken off the Internet. Not an American idea. That's a European idea of free speech. But when you talk about offensive speech, offensive to who? Because I could say, well, uh, Catholics or Christians might hold certain positions and put certain things on the Internet that another group finds offensive. Or the LGBT community might put something on the Internet that another group finds offensive. I'm sorry, in a debate of ideas, um, where you have a free flow, um, people can get offended, and that's okay. But to shut down speech, even in the European model that's offensive, uh, frankly, to me, is offensive. Um, and so I, I think what we have to do in this body is prevent the transfer. The Internet, I would argue, is U.S. government property. And if the president is... Uh, is you know what bent on transferring its control? It should come to this House and the Senate, and we should vote. We should have hearings and a debate, and in the end, the American people should see how their senator and their House member votes on the transfer of the core functions of the Internet. 
And they should have a say. They should be able to petition their, their, their elected representatives to say, I love the idea that you're going to transfer control to a global body that doesn't share our ideas. Or, my goodness, stop the transfer. Petition your, your, uh, your elected representatives and let's have them take a vote. The That's not going to happen. Expired. It is going to be transferred by the president without a vote. And I would ask all Americans to stand up, push back, fight back, and make sure we maintain the great idea of the American uh, and now global internet.